sorry i've been on sorry i've pretty much sorry i've br- uh what's going on you guys it's your boy mika may back at it again with another figure review sorry i've pretty much been kind of on a hiatus over the past few months hopefully the don momotaro video has gone up before this one because it's already 2023 and i got my first super sentai figure of the year and that's two kaiser from kikai sentai zen kaiser i'm excited to do my first sentai unboxing of this year but first i want to give a little opinion of this packaging Showing off the packaging again, like I said, there are no windows whatsoever. How do we even know we got the right figure? Bandai taking some notes from Hasbro. It does have the holographic sticker, meaning supposedly it's authentic. Let's see. And there you go, we did get the right figure. So there you have two Kaiser from Kikai Sentai Zen Kaiser. For those of you who don't know, two Kaiser is the sixth ranger from the from the 45th anniversary series. He is supposed to be the uh, representation of Go Kaiser, the 35th. Super Sentai, which is why he's got like a 35 over here. He's got a completely pirate theme with the Go Kaiger logo, but he is not a Go Kaiger. So, the initial feeling around it feels very solid. It feels like a legit SH Figure Arts Super Sentai, the modern versions which have been, uh, like I said in the, pre in the other videos, uh, chunkier than the original line of Super Sentai, but uh, a lot better proportion physically. This looks absolutely great. I love how it looks. Very, very good sculpting and painting as you could expect uh, from Tamashii Nations in the SH Figure Arts line. They do use uh, different shades of gold. I never noticed this in the series if it's different shades of gold, but I guess uh, it's really more how it shows up on camera. It's really obvious on camera. But the sculpt is really good. How it, uh, all the details in the helmet and the suit, all the wrinkles, it's, uh, all the wrinkles are beautifully sculpted on. I did want to say that it is a different, uh, it is a completely different sculpt from Zen Kaiser and Don Momotaro, though they do have uh, still the same attribute, uh, basically the similar builds, which is like shoulder guards, uh, this uh, square uh, belt here. The cups on the mittens are completely different, as well as the boot design. So that's completely new sculpt. And even, uh, the suit because uh, two Kaiser other than the shoulder guards don't have any uh, armored bits here on his chest so that that is beautifully sculpted all the wrinkles of the suit it's beautiful it's really good I don't really want to get in too much with articulation because it's basically it's pretty it's probably exactly the same thing with the last two figures that I've talked about it is very 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 poseable i also forgot to mention that two kaiser has the greatest henshin sequence in the whole of super sentai series because uh, he does this dance for his henshin it is just the best thing and i will probably get him in that dancing pose And it's probably accurate with the show 
that two Kaiser's shoulders are limited because of the bigger shoulder guards that he has to deal with. He cannot get his hands over his head. I mean, his like he can't get past here. He can't get past here, which I think it's fine. It's uh, it's the same limitations as the show, and he's and he's still going to get into the poses that he gets into uh, in in the show. So that's not a problem for me. I will talk about his accessories for a bit. He does come with a satisfactory set of hands, uh, closed fists, uh, relaxed hands, um, chopping hands, and trigger hands for holding his weapons. Hasbro could probably take some notes. I know this is a more expensive figure, but you know, I call it as I seize it. At least when I buy a figure, I get a bunch of hands. Just calling out the Hasbros. So you do get, it's labeled here, it's called the Gear Turinger. Uh, I don't remember if Zen Kaiser's weapon is also called the Gear Turinger, meaning that Zox, uh, Zox is uh, two Kaiser's uh, alter egos. His name is uh, Zox Gold, Gold Tweaker. Zox Gold Tweaker. Uh, he does come with uh, his own version, I guess, of the Gear Turinger. It does have the Zen Kaiser logo on it. So this is in this is, this is in gun mode, and it, this does actually spin. So again, for those who like to do stop motion with their figures, you can get this to spin. So, and the last bit of accessory that you get is the sword mode which is uh, what they, this is the sword mode. This is the sword mode that he uses, uh, he uses on his Shinken mode. You can use the same trigger hands uh, to hold the gun and the sword, which honestly, I think that's kind of neat. So one thing I am noticing is that uh, this, this sword mode does not want to stay on. It is really loose. If you tip, if you like angle it wrong, it just it's gonna fall off, and of course it doesn't fall off now. But it is quite loose. It comes off fairly easily. I don't know if I'm just not pushing it in all the way or what, but it's 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 pretty tough to keep it on. This is yeah, it's Shinken mode. Normally he go he goes into a completely new costume just to uh, when he puts on when he uses this sword but that would be a very expensive figure and you can just as easily just put him in his gun mode and then he just shoots up a storm Tani Ikuze I think that's pretty cool. Really great detail. Really, really great sculpting on on the Gear Turinger. It looks really good. And the uh, the lid uh, for the Sentai Gear doesn't work. It doesn't flip, but it's fine. My uh, only gripe really is how easy. Uh, the sword mode attachment comes off, but I don't know. He's not even in his Shinken form, so I don't. My my go-to probably won't even be the sword mode. Thinking about it now, it's kind of a miss opportunity. Uh, it's kind of a bummer because the sword mode is actually pretty great. So here is Two Kaiser with Don Momotaro. You can see he scales really well. Height, uh, height comparison. These are going to be fairly the same si the same height. Don Momotaro is probably going to have uh, like just a bit taller, just because of the bun, and probably for show accuracy's sake, Don Momotaro is taller than Z two, than Two Kaiser. Uh, but yeah, it it's probably barely it's probably going to be barely noticeable on on the figures when you put them together. They scale uh, perfectly together. Here he is finally together with Zen Kaiser. I haven't seen these two together since I watched Zen Kaiser like 
oh my gosh, two years ago, we're, we're on, we're on the next Super Sentai already, and I have been super late with this Sentai content. But it has been super great. I love how Two Kaiser looks. Really great figure. Very impressed with it. So the thing that I did like to discuss though is uh like i mentioned two kaiser is a tamashi web exclusive uh so uh i think here in southeast asia you can only get him i don't know in the pr uh, premium bandai shopee but he wasn't even there and i'm pretty sure like some of the uh, resellers kind of took advantage of that because at first uh, two Kaiser was really going for insane prices. I saw it, uh, my friend saw in Japan a secondhand store selling him for 11,000 yen and that's that's pretty insane. I think he came out to like he came out at like six or seven thousand yen or seven or eight thousand with like I, I am not I was not willing to spend 11,000 yen before shipping so I had to wait uh, for the price to go down and you know wouldn't you know it the price did go down eventually I uh, I think I paid 6,000 yen for this one yeah 6,000 yen before shipping which is something that it's more palatable for me there's been some discussions lately on if we should still actually be pre-ordering figures because uh, the aftermarket prices have been uh, pretty crazy. Uh, it's been up and down. Like two Kaiser, I found one for six thousand yen, but he's kind of been on buy kind of steady on around eight or nine thousand yen again. Uh, but. I don't know. It should. Uh, Don Momotaro and Zen Kaiser have gone down to like three thousand yen already. Aftermarket prices have been insane. Uh, they've been really going down. But there is there is the factor of yeah, you gotta wait. In my case, even for this figure, uh, this came out last year, last year or like or in January. So basically, I had to wait like three or four months before I could find a price I could find it in the aftermarket for a price that I was uh, okay with which is honestly for like practical collectors I would say just go with that strategy you can wait for prices to go down in the aftermarket a lot of sell there are a lot of sellers on buy that sell like even if it's uh, slightly used it's still most likely in really good condition this is i got this sealed uh mint in box so for six thousand yen so that's pretty that's a pretty good deal i just realized that the biceps okay there it goes it loosened up a bit the bicep swivel was really tight for a second oof oof so the the joints the joints are really new they're really tight uh, it's, it's a really solid figure. I'm really happy with uh, two, with two Kaiser here. I'm excited to pose him uh, with with these two on the shelves. So that's it for this video you guys i hope you liked it i apologize for the hiatus i've taken over the past few months as you can see we're already in the new place you can see the collection has grown behind me i've got a lot of backlog a lot of figures that i want to talk about i've already shot a few of them here in the new place i'm also in the process of editing a bunch of the older videos i've shot even from last year so give a like and subscribe it really helps your boy out so until then until the next video this is mika mig see you in the next one jane